Hi everyone, and welcome to Shavlik Protect. My name is Joe Andert, and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video, I will show the different methods available to you for tracking your patch deployments. So, let's get started. Shavlik Protect provides several different methods for tracking the status of your patch deployments. Your active patch deployments can be monitored using Deployment Tracker. For example, Deployment Tracker enables you to monitor the status of your patch deployment tasks that are currently in progress. The Successfully Installed list shows the patches that have been completely installed on the target machines. A patch deployment will only appear in this list when the machines have reported back to Deployment Tracker and indicated that the patch installation is complete. The other lists show patches that are in various stages of the patch deployment process. You can use the boxes at the top of the dialog to specify what information is displayed in the dialog. For example, the Update Speed box enables you to specify how often you want the information within Deployment Tracker to be updated. The Days to Show box enables you to specify how many days worth of deployments to show. We are currently viewing a mix of deployments that were performed yesterday and today. Now, if I change this value to 1, the patch deployment jobs that were performed prior to today will disappear. If I change the value back to 7, Deployment Tracker will now show me all deployments that were performed within the last 7 days. The Deployments box enables you to specify if you want to see information about all deployments or just a specific deployment. So, if I choose a specific patch deployment job, information about the other patch deployments will disappear. If I choose the Recent Deployments option, the Days to Show value will be used to determine the number of patch deployments to display. While Deployment Tracker is a great tool for viewing patch deployments currently in progress, it does not show you deployments that are scheduled for execution. To view these tasks, you use the Scheduled Remote Tasks Manager. The Scheduled Remote Tasks Manager is used to view, modify, and delete any deployments that are scheduled for execution on your remote target machines. For example, if you know that a certain machine will be unavailable on a specific day, you can use this tool to reschedule any tasks that are set to be performed on that machine. If you view an original patch scan, after a deployment has been performed, the program will automatically update the status of those patches. I can illustrate this by selecting a patch scan that was performed yesterday. During the original scan, the first eight patches shown here were missing on the selected test machine but now the current patch status column has been updated to reflect the status of the patch deployments. Three of the patches have completed the deployment process and have been reported as successfully installed. Five of the patches have been deployed, executed, and are awaiting either a reboot or a rescan. The same is true if I select a patch scan that was run earlier today.
The first few patches were originally identified as missing, but the patches have since been deployed and are in various stages of the deployment process. Finally, you can view summary information about all previous patch deployments by selecting Manage Items. For more information about Shavlik Protect, go to the web URLs shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shavlik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.